welcome back to our channel today we are covering aws certified solutions architect associate to find the complete list of question and answer please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today question is a development team has launched a new application that is hosted on Amazon EC2 instances inside a development VPC. A solutions architect needs to create a new VPC in the same account. The new VPC will be paired with the development VPC. The VPC CIDR block for the development VPC is 192.168.0.0/24. The solutions architect needs to create a CIDR block for the new VPC. The CIDR block must be valid for a VPC peering connection to the development VPC. What is the smallest CIDR block that meets these requirements? Option A 10010132. Option B 1921680024. Option C 1921681032. And option D 10010/24. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is: A company deploys an application on five Amazon EC2 instances. An application load balancer distributes traffic to the instances by using a target group. The average CPU usage on each of the instances is below 10% most of the time with occasional surge to 65%. A solution architect need to implement a solution to automate the scalability of the application. The solution when search occurs. Which solution will meet these requirements? Please go through the options. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is A company is running a critical business application on Amazon EC2 instances behind an application load balancer. The EC2 instances run in an auto scaling group and access an Amazon RDS DB instance. The design did not pass an operational review because the EC2 instances and the DB instances are all located in a single availability zone. A solutions architect must update the design to use a second availability zone. Which solution will make the application highly available? Option A. Provision a subnet in each availability zone. Configure the auto scaling group to distribute the EC2 instances across both availability zones. Configure the DB instance with connections to each network. Option B. Provision two subnets that extend across both availability zones. Configure the auto scaling group to distribute the EC2 instances across both availability zones. Configure the DV instance with connections to each network. Option C. Provision a subnet in each availability zone. Configure the auto scaling group to distribute the EC2 instances across both availability zones. Configure the DB instance for multi age at deployment. Option D Provision a subnet that extends across both availability zones. Configure the auto scaling group to distribute the EC2 instances across both availability zones. Configure the DB instances for multi age at deployment. And the correct answer is Option C. Next question is. A research laboratory needs to process approximately 8 TB of data. The laboratory requires sub millisecond latencies and a minimum throughput of 6 Gbps for the storage subsystem. Hundreds of Amazon EC2 instances that run Amazon Linux will distribute and process the data. Which solution will meet the performance requirements? Option A. Create an Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP file system. Set each volume tiering policy to all. Import the raw data into the file system. Mount the file system on the EC2 instances. Option B. Create an Amazon S3 bucket to store the raw data. 
create an Amazon FSX for Lustre file system that uses persistent SSD storage. Select the option to import data from and export data to Amazon S3 mount the file system on the EC2 instances. Option C, create an Amazon S3 bucket to store the raw data. Create an Amazon FSX for Lustre file system that uses persistent SSD storage. Select the option to import data from and export data to Amazon S3. Mount the file system on the EC2 instances. And option D, create an Amazon FSX for NetApp O and TAP file system. Set each volume steering policy to none import the raw data into file system. Mount the file system on the EC2 instances. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, A company needs to migrate a legacy application from an on-premises data center to the AWS cloud because of hardware capacity constraints. The application runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The application's database storage continues to grow over time. What should a solutions architect do to meet these requirements most cost-effectively? Option A, migrate the application layer to Amazon EC2 spot instances, migrate the data storage layer to Amazon S3. Option B, migrate the application layer to Amazon EC2 reserve instances, migrate the data storage layer to Amazon RDS on demand instances. Option C, migrate the application layer to Amazon EC2 reserve instances, migrate the data storage layer to Amazon Aurora reserve instances. And option D, migrate the application layer to Amazon EC2 on demand instances, migrate the data storage layer to Amazon RDS reserve instances. And the correct answer is option D. Thank you.